Hi, I'm Matthew Gonzalez. I'm a graphic designer at Mascot Books. At Mascot, we publish all sorts of books. Fiction, nonfiction, cookbooks, memoirs, fantasy, poetry, picture books, and a lot more. I've been working at Mascot Books for almost four years now. When I first started, I didn't really know much about the bookmaking process. Like, anything. I've learned there's an art to making books. It's not really as simple as putting words on a page. It's more like adorning a canvas with a spectrum of communicative, uh, well, words. We don't have a uniform at Mascot Books, but we do have a dress code. We all tend to dress pretty casually, uh, just the normal things that we wear on a daily basis. Oh, but no hats though. So what exactly is graphic design? Well, graphic design is best described as creating visual imagery that communicates a message to a viewer. So things like text, charts, logos, and all sorts of pictures that are meant to convey thoughts and feelings through visual mediums are part of graphic design. A designer's job creating books is a lot like a chef creating food. We receive our first ingredient from the author, who writes the script for their book. Then we receive the second ingredient, the pictures, from the illustrator. Designer's job to melt the two together to create the finished book. Voila! Ah, but hold on though, making a book layout isn't that easy. It's the graphic designer's responsibility to create the layout for the front and back cover of a book, as well as its contents. A graphic designer needs to think about the placement and shape of the text they want to use. There are a lot of fonts out there. Thick fonts, thin fonts, fancy fonts, gritty fonts, wonky fonts, scary fonts, and fonts for just about all purposes. What's important for a designer to know is the feeling that needs to be conveyed and to choose the font that finally says it best. I like to think that every story has a secret message to the reader, and it's up to the graphic designer to help communicate that message. These secret messages are called themes, and the best covers are the ones that set the tone for the story and mix the subject matter with the theme. The subject matter of a book may be of an elephant, but the theme of the story is about overcoming difficulties through practice. After making the initial layout of the book, the story is proofread with illustrations. Edits are written down and sent back to the graphic designer to be made to the layout. After the edits are made, the layout is reviewed again, possibly for more edits. This process may occur several times before there are no more edits to be made to the layout. Sometimes edits can take up to a few days, or weeks, or in some cases, even months. But eventually, every book does get there, in its own time. Once everything is approved, everything is ready to be sent to the printer. The printer then mails us copies of what the pages and cover will look like when printed. These are called proofs. We will look at these copies meticulously to make sure everything is perfect before declaring the layout ready to be printed into a book. Then, a few months of printing later, we receive the printed copies of our book in the mail. And that's a graphic designer's role in bookmaking.